now that I've been assigned a public defender, I have a decision to make. Um, I, I have to decide if I'm going to plead down, which means I can take a misdemeanor and lose my gun rights, and um, I'm going to have to make sure that they're going to allow me to leave the country because I'm not going to stay in the United States if I'm not allowed to have a gun. And um, so I have that option, or I can go to trial, which I don't feel like the trial is going to be fair. I, I don't feel like I'm going to even be able to be allowed to make my case. Um, and that's why I made videos, and that's why I got put in jail for making videos about my case. So, um, I understand the, the United States is the land of opportunity, and I understand that we have really awesome geography, and I understand that we have um, certain things like our, our farmland that's um, very useful, um, considering uh, it's very... Uh, beneficial considering the size of our population. I mean, we supply food to a lot of the world. China buys food from us. A lot of people buy food, food from us. So, um, I understand the United States is a great country and our military is the best and whatever. Um, but I also understand that uh, if I stay here, I'm a target. And if I leave, I might not be a target. And um, I can I can disguise myself and kind of blend in and get a job in hospitality. I can go work at a hotel somewhere. Um, I speak English pretty well. I can make videos of t tourists doing stuff. Um, I can do, I can do a lot, lots of different things, but um, I don't want to stay here. So I don't know what to do now. Um, I'm pretty afraid of trial because I feel like there's a reason they're trying to charge me, even if the body cam footage is missing and the interrogation they did is missing and the interrogation if it's not missing it, it is contradicted like it contradicts the, the report on the interrogation like it completely misses major features of the interrogation for a reason so um i don't know i feel like uh, the judge knows it's rigged and he didn't care and uh, and that's because i think it's allowed to be rigged in the united states and um i, I think i think he's like I don't. I don't think he's a bad judge. I think he's following the law, and the current law says you can throw, you can hide evidence if you're a police officer because it's not relevant anyways. Because I, I need to charge him with this crime. Everything around the crime is irrelevant. I, apparently, that's that's the rule. Because, um, but and this this crime, in my opinion, is pretty questionable. I mean, I, I saw a guy got charged with felony menacing for pulling a gun on someone when he was in, he was driving his car and he pulls out his gun because he's mad. Um, that does actually sound like felony menacing um, in uh, my gun safety class. Like I said in on my Snapchat video, they told us that if someone threatens you, like even if they're threatening you with their fists, you pull out your gun and you say, stop, I have a gun, I will shoot you. And so um, I don't understand how um, someone threatening you isn't faking like they're drawing a gun. And I especially don't understand how that's not the case if they if the feds have done that to me that many times. And everyone knows the feds exist except for the feds, they don't know they exist. Because they're like that kind of people. They, they will cover up everything. Um, all right, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day.